Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick and easy tutorial for you guys on how to distress your post-apocalyptic costume. And I made this harness, still working on it, out of thrifted belts like this one. Pretty. And I also made some cuffs out of it. Obvious this one hasn't been distressed yet. And keep on watching and I hope you have a lot of crafting fun. So yeah, bye. So we are going to do this in a couple of steps. First we're going to make the color and the texture. And second the rust and dirt effect. I was out of brown, so I mixed cheap black and orange acrylic paint. Now it is time to add some texture while the paint is still wet. I use ashes for this and you can easily get it. I am repeating this process just a couple of times. The more you do it, I think the better it will look. For this next part, I'm using matte clear varnish. In this way, the ashes will stick to it and become visible. Normally I would use a lot more ashes, but as you can tell, I'm running out of it. I like to add a little bit of white highlight. By now, it should look something like this. Now it is time to paint on the fake rust. For this part, I'm using an orange and a yellow mixed together. I am just painting it one color first. However, rust contains many, many orange and brown colors. I will show you. Also notice all the different textures. So that's why I'm adding a little bit of bright orange and a bit, little bit of bright yellow to my paint job. This, however, will dry up a bit darker than you will see now. This is freshly painted, this is a bit more dry and this is completely dry. As you can tell, there's quite a difference in color. It will dry up a lot darker. So that's it. Thank you for tuning in, watching this video. If you like it, give a thumbs up. If not, go away. And stay tuned for my next video. It will be about my new dreadlocks that I made. And I was working on a Wasteland Weekend vlog. <laughs> However, my computer crashed and I can't open the original file on the new PC anymore. So, fuck that sucks. And I, <laughs> I was about halfway and I don't feel like doing it all over again so perhaps one day I will upload it and otherwise not I don't know what do you guys think anyhow see you next time Bye. just to be clear if you're going for a realistic leather look that's really distressed it looks a lot different than from what I am doing uh, to me this is fantasy and if you really want to know how real leather uh, distressing looks like uh, you can google it or you can uh, find an old belt or something like this you can see the marks it's really pretty isn't it so cool that's that <laughs>